having the top eight on your finishments or on your placements is, is very solid um, as we get into this game one. Kinda actually not rocking the uh, arrows. Yeah, so Kinda is playing the what, what? What? That's crazy! I can't believe it. That's Blaster's act. I I wonder why. Uh, this is um. Oh man, I'm, I, it's totally slipping. I have Baraza. What are we? Yeah. What, I haven't seen Baraza in so long that I've lost the name. Yeah. Baraza coming out. And I guess I won't be seeing Hammer too. So. <laughs> Interesting, Barraza, uh, an Axe Legend and Blasters Legends kind of knows something we don't, maybe. Ooh, yeah, great confirmed there by Blue Team. Um, still with the pressure there on Laura's. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Laura, wait. Wait. Kaina yes. is the... Kaina is the Kaya. Laura's is the... This This is strange. Yeah. I... What on the last? We have a Barraza, we have a Kaya. Okay, okay. No, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Okay, it's great, great, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, versus Sarmay Escape, who we saw last game. Still rocking the Ryan Wuchong. A lot slower of a match immediately. I mean, this is yeah. what happens when you're at you know, this top echelon. You have to respect everybody. Everyone ha yeah. has each other's respect. So they're going to be playing very solidly here. The Barraza and Light does come in and it might the I'm also noticing a lot more combo breaks on both sides. Like, they'll get a 2v1 started, and then all of a sudden, you know, there's a hitbox waiting from Kaina or Sarme, like, just making sure that those long 2v1 strings aren't occurring may be crucial. Yeah. This recovery there, Sarme uh, looking pretty, or Escrape looking worse for wear. The weapon toss does come in, trying to find that uh, conversion into that edge card. Didn't find it, but I think right now they're looking pretty solid. The red team is, uh, that is, Kyle landing with the side of this mine KO. Oh, kind of this big pressure on Sarme, but able to land. Um, okay. Torres with the pressure here. And immediate disengage. Saw that there was a 2v1 opportunity by the blue team and says, hey, yeah, I'm not being involved with you guys. I don't want this. Um, it's so interesting to me that we see blasters. I was talking to Duke about it, and kind of on the same vein as what we were talking about with Greatsword, is it takes a lot longer for a weapon like blasters to get activated. And yeah. I'm not sure if it... If it is, you know what I mean? I think the axe is what we were saying a lot more of as both the red team are both unarmed and we leave a 1v2 situation for Kaina here on the Barraza. What a tough pull. Switching to Blasters and, and, too. And, and this is hard because Blasters take so long to get that hit and uh, like a, you got a new one here. Ground, uh, oh. ground pound. Okay, nice getting out of that combo, but still you're looking pretty yeah. tough here. This is possibly the worst draw for Kaina with a weapon that takes a really long time to get set up into, I mean, a 2v1 situation. Any hit could be just unsafe on hit. Uh, unfortunate. I'm trying to look for D-Light recovery. It's over. Yeah. Blue team. If Kaina's on Axe there, I think he wins that. Low key, if Kaina's on Axe. It's definitely a lot easier. Yeah. I mean, that's for sure. I, I think the Blasters is definitely something that takes a little bit too long to get going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you could maybe hit with Blaster Sayer and mm -hmm. be safe. Everything else is just so long. I mean, like, even... A lot of times you were seeing kind of doing like dash jump or dashing uh, end lights and trying to catch, but it just like end light without the connection is just one hitbox. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of laggy yeah. if you whiff it, so it's just definitely not something that it's like successful all the time, especially it's not something that's so spammable, mm -hmm. uh, like downlight, for example. So we saw a lot of end light, but not a lot of anything else. And then it definitely made it a lot more difficult in that 2v1, like you're saying. Blasters just takes too long to get going. Mm -hmm. And we could see a switch. I, I'm i pro switch as a... Uh, oh, Taros, man. Yeah, kind of Taros fan. So yeah. good. Um, or Roman Three, Reigns. Two. Or and Roman we'll Reigns. Say, we'll see oh. if the switch comes online, but it doesn't... We're gonna reset real quick. Yeah, Demon Island, maybe not the pick they wanted. Yeah. Or maybe not the Chiefs. Yeah. Um, big part, Legends, big part of this uh, of this experience. We'll see if the Barraza does stay Barraza. Yeah. I mean, so so obscure to me that it took me a second to recognize <laughs> the name. And I, I mean, I play Brahalla a lot, and I'm thinking, like, who is that? But it's Barraza. And the reason being is because you just don't see Barraza all that much. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were talking a little bit about, like, Blasters being super, taking a lot of time to set up. And I, also think that could be a useful thing in team or twos sometimes because like you get somebody in a, a blaster string they're there 
they're there for a while. Sort of like the gauntlets Nair, where it's like, all right, here you go. Whenever they get hit by the blasters moves, the teammate Three, knows, two, okay, it's one, my turn to shine. Um, and they could potentially get a follow-up. So, yeah, staying on the Barraza. I mean, it, it was, I mean, as bad as we're kind of chalking it up to be, yeah. it wasn't that bad. It no, still no. went last off, yeah, but, sure. you know, I just think Barraza on the axe, definitely the winning combination for the red team. And we are eating our words, PJ, as Harmon Escrape takes a early lead in game two and also after winning game one. All right. A lot of control here from the team. Oh, man. And the negative on hit. Super smart by Escrape. Oh, but able to get the KO on Harmon. A very even game so far. Okay. Lots of control here. Oh, okay, red team getting the KO off the top, I believe, with the recovery. Ooh. Oh, lots of combos there from the red team. Oh, Flores maybe dropping the confirm there. High in the sky, not able to find it on Sarmet. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Interrupting the end stick, very important to yeah. avoid that KO, but right now you're seeing a dominating call from Loras, who's taken every stock so far, and right now they're almost cleanly on five stocks to three. The red team... Not, I mean, obviously, they don't need to take anything from us, but very, very solidly in the lead right now. Yeah, and, um, okay, trying to get something. I feel like Sarmay's been getting uh, deleted this game. He's been having such a trouble against the 2v1 onslaught of, of Red Team. And, uh, and even more as living there, that's actually wild. Oh, what a pickup. The MLA. Okay, a save attempt from Boras can they make it back. They do. Uh oh. Potential there. Avoiding so many mix ups here. Loris is gone. There you go. You have to dodge in there, and the, the coverage okay. is so smart. For Big Sorry. confirm there on uh, Kaina. Oh! The weapon toss actually catches the high recovery attempt, and then they get a recovery of their own. But because they went for the recovery, Loris is ready to take that stock away. So clean. Yeah. On life support here. Are they able to close it out? Oh, it attempt. If they can get the KO on Loras, or Kaina rather, it's possible. But all right, Sarme without resources, getting the reversal, and now both of blue team is on the. But okay, Kaina just holding center stage boom, boom, here. Boom, 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 boom. The pickup mm. and oh, the side air. Oh, oh, the side air. Side air into the uh, weapon toss was insane. Was that just a true? Combo? That's just real. That's awesome. Whoa. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's crazy. I yeah. mean, that's tough. I mean, you just get hit by a team combo from Spear. I thought the side air was just a little bit extra damage, but it actually extended the amount of hit stun, and it ended up becoming a combo with that weapon toss follow. Yeah, no, it's super sick by Kaino Lores. Um, and we're tying it up 1-1. One, one. And we're going right back in it. I, I hear this. They are... This is, we're yeah. fast here. We're like, you know, we reset because you didn't want Demon Island. We're going right back to, we're going to Demon Island now. Demon and it's going to be, we'll see how this one works out for Blue Team. Finally getting a weapon is Flores. Okay. Let's see if they're... Okay, yeah. Sarme trying to juggle Kaina right there. Ooh, nice signature. I, I like that. They were sort of like threatening the edge guard and also spacing to... Oh, yeah. Also spacing to hit Flores. Almost getting the confirm there. Oh my god. Super strong. Ooh, nice down air reversal from Loras to catch Sarmay. Sarmay with sweat beats having to use their teammate, oh! but it actually ends up being a catastrophe as the double KO comes in from Loras with the ground pound. You have to cider your teammate to get the chase dodge there, and that actually leads into a worse situation. A terrible trade off there. They both get sacrificed in the pits of Demon Island. It does not work out. <laughs> oh my god, red team is super happy about that. Maybe a recovery could have boosted one of them up. But yeah, it's just such such a heads up play. Um, oh man, and 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 right now, I mean, this is so crucial for Sarme, who overextends and over uh, shoots that side air, and all of a sudden it becomes a lot harder to lock down. Finally, does find the lockdown on Loras and Kaina looking to lose the stock quite quite quickly here. Recoveries into the uh, blast zone so yeah. that you can you know last a little bit longer. Yeah, super smart from Kaina, just not wanting to go into the two v one arms of the blue team. Oh, but Loras. Putting in a lot okay. of work. Okay, okay, Loris. <laughs> oh my god. Getting Loris. the recovery there. Yeah. I mean, you don't find the KO, but you still get some extra damage. Loris yeah. is playing absolutely insane right now. And Loris, like, was edge guarding both members of the At the same time. So sick. All right.
Okay, nice to open up there. Down line to the side here on Laura. Laura's the only player on the red team with two stocks right okay. now. Kinda's holding on for dear life. Blue team with a lot of pressure here. Alright, let's see the save. Anything. Nope. Oh, nice. Wait, that's so worth because you keep uh, you keep Kaina alive by giving Kaina the ability to recover, to hit you with the recovery so that uh -oh. you can make your way back. But that Sider comes in and all of a sudden it's Laura's in a 2v1 situation, which it would require quite a bit, but that it should be over here. It gets the end sig. Yeah. We see Escrape is just letting Sarme cook right oh now, though. God. Yeah, just so much coverage for cool. Sarme. Oh, trying try to get a cheeky little edge guard there. All right. Going for the big ground pound there. Yeah, Lord Flores on the boom, boom, boom. Oh, goodbye. Clean. They've been so consistent with that up specifically. Yeah. It's so back and forth. And it's not back and forth in the sense of, like, it's really, really close. It's so incredibly dominated by yeah. either team. Volatile. Yeah, very, yeah. very volatile. So in this game, in this game three, or that game three went to blue team, but... I think if, if this is going to go the distance, I think that game five is definitely going to be really interesting to see because I feel yeah. like whoever takes the first talk, it's over. You yeah. just win. So much momentum. Yeah. And, I mean, I, honestly, I feel like there's both of these teams have the potential to make those Three, crazy two, like 2v1 one, one combos one. and comebacks happen, but we just haven't seen it. Okay, finally we see what we were discussing prior to the match. Kaina on his forte, Materos, or in, in this case, uh, Roman Reigns. Good to see this. I mean, back against the wall, you need one more set to make it into top eight. Might as well pull out all of the stops. Yeah, but why did it take so long? I guess we will never know. Um, Maybe the hammer. I mean, I was kind of kind of talking, kinda, not kinda. I'm kinda talking up <laughs> the uh, the hammer and twos, but maybe Loris doesn't see the same and opting for more axe game plan. Maybe Baraza has better stats for it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Loris getting edge guarded super hard there, and then kind of already losing his first stock. This is going to be hard for the red team as the blue team takes an early lead. Two stocks unanswered. Okay. You got, there's always time to break dance in Rahala. Fighting yeah. the stock there with the gravity cancel break dance. Ooh, the down air actually scooping into the angle, so it sends Sarme off stage. Scary spot to be in. Gets hit with the recovery as well. Not enough to KO, but still a great spot to be in. Yeah, and, and they're kind of avoiding a lot of the zones that Kaina wants to cook in. And uh, I guess they sort of know what to do with a hammer play. Nice recovery there from Flores, capitalizing on that for sure. Uh, oh my god, yeah. I I'm just watching Kaina, and he's with so many lights and aerial attacks. He's not cooking a low okay. Finally getting something, but that's it. One hit. And gets comboed for his troubles. Alright. Getting sharped by Sarme. Sarme is recovering everybody. Nobody's safe. Not even his teammate as he gets the close out on Lores, but they're able to get a Oh, Lores Sweatbeak still touches the wall but gets hit by that side air immediately and the blue team up a stock, the red team potentially on each other's last stock. Everything comes down to this. We'll see if they can make something happen here. As Sarme has quite a bit of a lead being the only player in the lobby with two stocks. Yeah, Sarme. Oh, really good combo. Lores could potentially reversal this on Sarme, but unfortunate, not able to get it. SK playing so safe on the platform with this Lance. Uh, kind of dropping D-Light into something, maybe waiting for a dodge. Um, kind of trying to juggle. Has not been able to, yeah, and, and in the meantime, they've got a 2v1 on Loras. Kind of can't really contend with Hammer, but as I say that, finding the downlight into the side uh -huh. air, you got to capitalize on this 2v1. This Avoiding the SIG and getting a down air forward. Loras in a bad spot now. Sarme gets the charge oh. on the SIG, didn't pull the trigger though. Yeah, he was afraid of hitting his teammate, which is honestly very smart by Sarme. <gasps> Big end SIG with. And in the meantime, they're trying to 2v1 Sarme. Escrape cannot afford to get in there. Oh, lots of SIG usage. And now the Kaina that we know and love is coming out so smart with these D-Lights. Again, a D-Light Sayer. And the D-Lights are coming out full force. One D-Light Sayer on Escrape should seal it. Can you find it, though? I think Escrape playing very oh, elusive so far. Kaina goes for it all. Misses it. That's the big side light, but to get a conversion off of it right now, either team just needs the one, and this is it. Lores potentially on their last stock. The lone survivor on the red team who needs to fight to keep their run alive. Can you oh. find the down light sider? Yes, you do. It's a 1v1 situation right now. Sarme or Escrape has to play almost perfectly, That's but it's it. not enough because the Nair comes in. Kaina in the 2v1, in the 1v2, I should say, clutches it out.
Yes, so Cannot sick. believe it, man. I can't believe he pulls out the Taros, immediately pays off, winning that 2v1. We're going to our game five. On the PJ. hammer. On the hammer. On the hammer. On the hammer, which we talked about. Yes, but we yeah, did. Until the very end, I feel like Kaina wasn't allowed to cook. Nope. Like, blue team was just shutting him down, not really approaching many of those uh, hammer threat zones with punishing him a lot. But then when it came to getting those final knockouts, we saw Kaina getting delight after delight after delight into so many sayers and yeah that's really it's so much of the hammer gameplay at the high percent and it ended up paying off Three, here we go we're getting two, a bit of a switch one, over to ball. wait no we're not it's the same it's the same legend it's just a uh, pearl now okay uh, the the uh, kaya crossover but nonetheless we're seeing the roman reigns and the kaya still hold true all legends are the same here all right kind of starting with some oh nice disruption yeah, yeah. Boy, getting uh, too many hits off on, on your teammate. Yeah. Okay. Soft platform having a, a big magnifying glass on it in this game so far. Like yeah. everyone is really contending for that soft platform space. Nice runoff side air. Gets oh. hit with a ground pound for it. That is oh, kind of the nature. Be... Okay. Was able to refresh. Wow. Yeah. Kind big of down air. Barely making it back there. Big down air. Can we find this tap in for Lores? Yes, we do. And the red team up a stock apiece. Lores, um, sorry, Kaina on the left side of the screen getting a side air KO. Lores tapping it in with that pogo stick. And, and we said and, and, and earlier. Oh, big over such. DJ, that whoever got the lead is. Wait, what? Lores didn't make it back. Huh. Kaina in a 2v1 situation avoids it all, runs back into the corner and actually yeah. gets a nice reversal as soon as Laura spawns, getting some damage on that Nair. And nice Sayer disruption from s -Grape. As they continue this 2v1 combo on Laura's, they're still playing hot even though they need to get the KO on Kaina, and there they find it. Uh-oh, big opportunity. Laura's still playing so aggressive in the 2v1, what? Nice side air, that's big. Okay. Okay, that's a nice side air on Laura's. Laura's okay. in a bad spot. Uh, Kaina actually getting a down air to give his teammate a little bit more time, but that uh, side stick comes in nonetheless, and here's a big open up, but actually opens up his own teammate getting some extra team damage. Kaina flying across the screen with a dash jump side air. That's like a, I mean, a classic in, in platform fighters. Just throw out the big move in twos, and it works yep. out. Down air takes the stock there. The red team poised to take this set. We'll see if they can tap this lead in or if the blue team has something crazy up their sleeves. If you take a stock off of Laura's right now, that 2v1 could be all it takes to win this set. Yeah, and the blue team sort of knows their win condition as they try to hunt down for Laura's. But They're not Kaina, even hitting Kaina. Yeah, Kaina is just kind of taking advantage of that and walking forward, trying to bully the blue team, saying, I'm going to intrude on your space. I'm going to make it uncomfortable for you all. But yeah, Laura's being hunted. Okay, and playing good support here. And that platform has been so important for both members, or both teams. And whoa! What an extension. That's going to be it. That's going to be the game. Flores takes it with a big side stick. And as we were saying, the sets kind of go, you know, whoever has the lead won dominantly, except that last game where I think Kaina really had to clutch it out. But as we were saying, Kaina switches to the Roman Wains, picks up a hammer, and makes it happen. Yeah. It was mostly like a lot of hammer plays.